Kane is in the building. G'day guys, today we take a look at uh, four easy progressions for improving internal and external hip rotation. Let's have a look and see how it's done. Okay, so when I'm wanting to work on internal and external hip rotation with, with a new client, I'll always just tend to start with their feet together, their knees together, and just going left and right, and just making sure the lower back feels happy in that movement. Uh, a lot of people are very locked up and don't use anywhere near the amount of rotation that they have in their spine, so I usually start there. And then as you can see, I progress on to uh, a wider foot position. The, the width of the feet is generally set up by the opposite knee coming down pretty much close to the, the heel. And then once that feels like you've got you've worked into adequate range of motion, so i.e. both knees are sort of getting to the floor without it feeling too funky in the hips, I'll sit up, so, you know, so more in an upright position. This one's got a little bit more carryover into, say, a squat and does require you know more range of motion to you know perform it well so it, it is definitely a progression from the floor based uh, version we did prior try and hold your chest up with that one and you know maintain as much of your natural lumbar curvature as possible so you know you get the best carryover to you know uh, the big compound movements and then i go into you know progression four here it's more dynamic more uh, range of motion is required for this to flow well um, it's a great warm-up drill and uh, a core activated because of the the balance aspect to the exercise and also you know it's it's challenging that internal and external hip rotation in now almost a standing position so again more carry over to what we're doing in the gym as you can see i kind of you know grab my glute and, and sort of position my hip in a way so i'm actually I'm, I'm as i come up i'm really searching for where i feel it's tight and i'm actually trying to push into that a little bit on the breath out so you know you can work through these movements and kind of by positioning the torso in certain ways you can avoid the stretch you know if you're really not sort of focusing on, on what you're doing but to, to maximize it and really feel the freedom that comes from these sort of exercises you know really paying attention to, to what you're noticing what you're feeling where it feels like it's stretching and how you can position yourself to get the most out of it i hope it helps guys let us know how you go cheers